and welcome to flutter fluency so today we are gonna, we are going to talk about flutter flow uh, we are going to start the new series by today of flutter flow in which we are going to deep dive the features that we have in flutter flow and some of the uh, some of the the, uh, the packages or the versions version system uh, and some of the stuff that uh, that is important for you to understand uh, so let's start with the first video by uh, covering all of the topics related to the flutter flow then we are gonna start creating videos on each of the specific topic for example uh, custom widgets custom action some of the features that are uh, like advanced we are gonna talk about uh, that things afterward but right now we are gonna talk about uh, First of all, we are going to talk about the Flutter Flow environment and then we are going to talk about the basic knowledge of Flutter Flow, how we can create a simple uh, front end and then we are going to move towards the advanced features like custom function, cloud functions, uh, app state variable, page state variables, constants and uh, something like that. Uh, and then we will also be uh, working with the backend technologies like backend technologies like Firebase and Superbase. Yeah, so let's begin. So you can like simply go towards the Flutter Flow dashboard and do a login sign up. So it's all uh, yours. Uh, so you can go and check it out all the way. And here we have only one thing that I wanna uh, talk about. So here you can see that I just uh, created two tags basically. So one of the tags says that clients project and one of the pro tags says that our project samples basically. So here you can see that what I'm gonna do is that for example if I'm gonna create a project for a client and, uh, and so uh, if I want to start working on the project so if I, I have a lot of projects here you can see that uh, so what I can do I can simply click on client project and uh, this tab uh, it can, it, uh, this can sort our client projects where we can simply start working on it similarly on projects so here, where you can create a uh, these tags if you're gonna click tag so you will be able to create a tag so it will be appear here okay so uh, how you can link this tag with this one so for example i want to link this project with the client project uh, with a client project right now it's our project sample tag uh, attached so what i'm gonna do i'll be clicking on this uh, button and i'll be able to remove the tag right now but if i don't have a tag then he will be able to say add tag so when i click add tag so it will be showing that list of tags that i have just created which is showing here okay so let's start our projects here you can also see one more thing which is a dark mode and the light mode uh, i prefer dark mode so i'm gonna use the dark mode okay so yeah let's create a new project so i'm gonna create a blank project uh, with the name of let me say uh, learning flutter or I'm gonna add a dash to be a blank project here you can see that it, it has automatically created so it's saying or some flutter flow and something like that you can click skip okay so before starting the things there are the lot of knowledge knowledge that i want to convey you uh, you all okay so before starting the things i am gonna uh, tell you about each and every buttons that we have and each of each and every features and versions and uh, a test mode and rest of the stuff i'll be showing i'll be showing and sharing with you uh, right now okay so let's start with the first feature here you can see that this is a basically a widget panel basically in which we have a lot of widgets so if we want any widgets so what we can do we can simply drag the widget and drop it here so it's automatically append here so if i want to add text widget inside the column widget so what i can do is that i am gonna paste drag and drop inside the text widget okay so no need to worry about it i'm gonna tell you in a deeper view so you won't go empty handed okay so yeah okay fine so what I can do is that yeah uh, okay fine so th this is the basically there are a lot of widgets that they have created 
so these are the widgets appears here okay so what are these things first we can talk about this thing so for example okay we will talk it later because uh, these features will uh, work when we have lot of pages and lot of components that we have created okay so yeah the second this is the most used button that we used while using a flutter flow so we can simply click on it and here we will be able to see all of our pages so for example if i'm gonna create any other page uh, create a blank page and here i'm gonna say page 2 let's suppose page 2 and create page where you can see that it's page number 2 so we can switch between these two pages so all of the pages all of the components will appear here so if you have any if you are thinking what are the components so no need to worry about it uh, i'll be talking on the components uh, very soon but uh, right now i can say that here you can see that it's appearing as this button is uh, checked so which means that uh, it's showing all of the pages and all of the components together but if i'm gonna click only pages you will be able to see both of these pages because we have only pages right now so no need to worry about it but when i'm gonna click the uh, the components so you will not be able to see any page because we don't have created pages uh, components right now okay so this is a basically a sorting scenario okay so for example if you have let's go towards the previous page here yeah. so for example if you want to see the we can say the widget hierarchy that we have just created so you will be able to use this list view button okay so if you click on it so you can see that your page name is home page and you have added a column then we have a one more column so why we have one more column uh, i'll be also com uh, coming towards this uh, like things so let's um, move towards the next thing here you can see that we have an app bar and something like that so let's talk about the features so for example if you can if you see that see here we have a column uh, we have a column wrapped inside another column so we don't want this column we can simply right click on it and here you can see all of the list of features uh, or options that we can use so first one is a duplicate option which means that if you are gonna click this duplicate button so it will be replicating the same widget below for example let's click on it here you can see that the same widget because this is a part this is a text is a part of column basically right now because here in a hierarchy here you can see that the the parent widget is column and the child widget is text okay so it's a parent child relation so here you can see that uh, it's duplicated but if i am gonna I, if i want that i don't want this widget it's replicated mistakenly i want to delete this thing so if you can click this thing if you can click this thing and click this delete button it means that this is a very serious thing uh, you have to uh, understand if you can click on the column and delete on this button so it will delete the column completely inside no matter you have thousands widget wrapped uh, thousand widget packed inside a column widget or not it will delete your uh, it will delete your all widgets but if you want that for example uh, if you want to delete any specific widget inside a uh, inside a uh, inside a parent of a widget you don't want complete hierarchy to be deleted so you can click on it and remove this you click on remove widget specifically so if you click on remove widget so it will delete only a widget only a one widget but if you click on the uh, parent and click delete so it will delete the whole column no matter how many uh, how many widgets they take inside okay so let's suppose if i want if i want is that this is the best example that i'm going to show you about the delete scenario so for example if i want that i want to delete this column because i don't want that column to be wrapped on another column i just want that we need text but we don't want column so for example if i am gonna click right click and press delete so it will delete a whole column which we don't want here you can see it's delete the whole column which we don't want so let me do control z or a command z in a uh, back okay so we only want that text still here column should be removed so I am gonna click right click and click on remove widget so here you can see that I just click remove widget and it's only remove the column widget and it's uh, the text widget which is a child of a column will be linked with the uh, with the another column basically okay so that's how these two features work so this is a really important thing okay so for example if you want to insert any widget inside a column widget so you can click use this feature and this is the most important thing one more most important thing that uh, we can use 
so we will be also working on the responsiveness in the upcoming videos okay so yeah if we want to replace any widget for example let's suppose that you won't need any column right now you need a row instead so you can click on it you know that there are the lot of widgets that you have inside a column widget so you don't want to remove the whole column hierarchy and uh, recreate it again so you only want to replace that widget and it should be automatically appear for example let me do uh, control d so if i'm gonna click text uh, any widget and press command d here you can see that it's replicating okay it's replicating here okay so what i want is that i don't want this to be like in a vertical way vertical manner i want it should be in a horizontal manner okay so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna replace it so here you can see that replace widget click on it and it's saying showing some of the widgets that we can replace with this column so i'm gonna select raw here you can see that it's in a raw man manner now it's in a horizontal manner now okay so that's how it's work okay so let's talk about any other widget and uh, forget it this is not an important thing if you want to add any comments uh, to any specific widget why you have added this widget so you can use that one but uh, that was not much important thing okay so the next thing that is important for you in this panel is convert to component this is the most important thing so most of the time basically we want to convert a specific widget to be in a component so why there is a need to create a component if you want to use one thing again and again so you can create a component simply so for example uh, you know that we have let's uh, duplicate it more so here you can see that we have a lot of widgets in a column and i want uh, this column to be appear in the second page that we just created i'm talking about this page okay so i just want that this should also be there but there uh, might be a chance we, uh, we need to replicate this thing copy paste that thing or something like that so maybe we need to do that, that kind of a thing another best case that we are gonna use is the is the component scenario so what we are gonna do we'll be creating a component basically so right click on it and click uh, cre uh, co click on convert to component so add a name which is we can say that column of text here we are gonna use camel case camel case means that smaller first letter should be smallest uh, smaller means lower case and uh, then if you have any other words so you will not be able to add a space here you can see i am adding a space it's not adding okay so but if you want to differentiate two two words so you can differentiate it by using lowercase and uppercase that's how i can use so column of text it's readable if you want you can add a description of a component why you created this component and what's this component can do okay so uh, i am skipping this part so let's create it so here you can see that the part that we have if i'm gonna change the color you will be able to see better here you can see we have a hello world as well we are not right now we are in a dark mode so i'm just oh, sorry i right now we were in a light mode but now we are in a dark mode so what here you can see that let's go towards the core here you can see it's not affected you will be able to see it's not affected but it's affected you can ask me how it's affected i will be not able to see any change so you can click on it and go towards the list view and here you can see that we don't have a no, we don't have now a column uh, we don't have multiple text that is wrapped in a column because that is extracted and converted into a uh, converted into a component basically the purple color is showing a component sign so if i am going to double click on it so here you can see that it's navigated me towards the actual column or actual component that we just created okay so how we can use that thing so for example this page is okay this page is done we need to con add uh, the co uh, the component on this page so right click on it insert widget go to go to click on this component but button if you click on this button you will be able to see column of text which is the name of our component so you can click on it and here you can see you no need to add any other thing it's just added here okay so it's just replicated here which we are going to use so here if you can use the sorting scenario now so you will be able to see only a column of text in a column page so here you can see it's a column of page that's how it will work so yeah uh, this is a basically a, uh, we can say the sketchboard or storyboard basically so all of the screen if you have multiple screen 500 200 or 50 20 screens or some uh, like it depends on your uh, size of uh, the size of the project. Sorry, I think I just this tab. 
so it depends upon the size of your project it does not matter so if you want to see the linking behavior uh, like which page is linked with which one so it will be showing in the uh, storyboarding page okay so yeah uh, i think it's uh, good to go uh, to learn these features right now because you don't have you don't need to worry about these features these are the some of the advanced features that we are going to use yeah we have one or two more features that we can use or learn now so if you click yeah i'm talking about this feature so this is a design setting page if you click on it here you can see all of the design panels should be managed here so if you want to add any primary color change primary color you can simply click on it and uh, like choose any specific color according to your desire and uh, if here you can see as i change the color and if i'm going to change the color more so maybe i'm going to click this tab and if i go back because the primary color is used in our in my app bar so if i go back here you can see it's replaced so you can simply use simply change one page colors in a one page and it will be changed from all over the app if you are using the same color so it's not the color with this uh, this specific ui code it's color with the specific name of primary text so you need to click on primary text you don't need to select this thing okay just click on primary text and it will be replicated there so yeah that's how you can use the color scenario so if you have a dark mode or a light mode you can simply adjust these two things so for example if you want light mode should have uh, a black color dark color uh, as a primary color because i'm going to use a primary color in my font and if we have a dark font dark mode then we are going to use white color because white color uh, it should be in the dark mode background should be black and front front end should be uh, background should be dark and front uh, front end should be white so that's how we can like use here you can see it's like working so this kind of a thing okay so yeah let's move towards any other thing so here you can also adjust some, some of the uh, some of the fonts that you have you all uh, remember you have all, you have two types of font here built in in flutterflow okay so one font is itself fonts flutterflow by default font and some of the fonts that comes through google font package okay so we are going to use the google font uh, we can use both of them like simply you can simply choose these things here this is a font weight specifically if you want to go with the font family so you can see that we have a google fonts and the custom fonts if we are going to add custom fonts you can add it directly and the theme font you can also select the theme fonts as well i am also showing you where you can add these two theme font which you can use all over the app okay you can yeah add the custom fonts here and custom icons here okay let's move towards the next thing which is this thing so this is really important thing because it's related to this feature is related to the uh, we can say the responsiveness okay responsiveness of a mobile application so if you are creating any web application or even any mobile application that works on both devices like tablet view or a mobile view and you want to change their view based upon their specific screen sizes so you can use you can come here and adjust the screen sizes and make it uh, the widgets accordingly okay so we will be talking uh, deeply talking on it later okay so yeah we have a one more uh, one more one more option where we can create a custom with uh, we can create a custom widget that we can create that we can use all over the application 